Hello everybody and welcome back to brand new Dead Overflow video. Today will be a very special video because we're going to be talking about something very, and I mean very scary, and it is an remote code execution vulnerability or insecure deserialization vulnerability, which of course leads to RCE, which was found on Next.js. These are the vulnerable products, by the way, React, Server Dom, and Next.js, or Next.js in general, I would say. Uh, again, I'm not really too familiar with this infrastructure. I've never worked with Next.js ever. I don't really Really work with javascript objects that much hello everybody and welcome back to brand new dead overflow video today will be a very special video because we're going to be talking about a very scary vulnerability which was discovered on next.js i believe next.js as you can see these are the vulnerable products it is the react server dom and next.js with app router now again it is very scary because it is a insecure decentralization vulnerability, which leads to remote code execution. And today I actually have to show you that for you. So this is a just simple next.js web server. As you can see, it's running on the localhost 3000. And if I run this Python, now remember, I'm not going to run this Python poc.py file. I'm going to run poc2.py. Uh, there is a difference. This one is not actually something that will do execute anything. This is just a, a, an example. It is very similar. Only one line of code is missing here. And the reason why I decided not to include it is because YouTube, I, I don't want my videos to get removed. If you want to see this, go watch John Hammond's video. But I won't show it because I don't know. I, I feel like my video will, will get probably removed because I'm a smaller creator. So let's hit enter. And if I send this, you can see calculator will be opened literally just like that. And over here, you can see that we did send their request. So there we go. Now let's go actually into the video and maybe talk a bit more about it. But before we get started, please make sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit 60K by the end of the year. Hopefully we can pull that through. Also check out my Android API hacking course, which is literally for a day, 90% off. Also my bug bounty course, which is also for a day, like in a five seconds, it will be less than a day, half the price, and also my ultimate game hacking course, which is also half the price, and it also includes some game example cheats. Check them all out. Links are in the description. Now let's go with the video. So there is a reason why I didn't really want to show you the actual POC, because YouTube really doesn't allow that stuff, and I get it. Guys, if you find something like this, especially something this big, because believe it or not, this was a 10 out of 10 on the scale to how critical this was. So this is actually the most critical it can get. <laughs> and the thing about it is if you find something like this, please make sure to report it. It is very vital that you actually report stuff like this and please be ethical and always be responsible. Now that we got that out of the way, I don't really want to show you what will trigger this behavior because YouTube can get tricky with that. Therefore, I'm not going to show you the line which causes calculator to open but we can definitely run it again to just show you that this will run calculator and no i'm not actually just calling calculator from poc 2py again that would be really funny but no that is actually not what's happening if you want to see it check out john hammond's video i don't really want to get any you know i don't want to get my fingers dirty with all of this stuff especially don't want to get my video removed so now that we got that out of the way, we can definitely talk a bit more about what's going on here. So as I've said, this is a insecure deserialization vulnerability. I believe so it is. And if this video gets, I don't know how much, uh, let's go for our 1000 likes. I will try to rediscover this issue. And I'm not even kidding. I will go step by step, maybe make a, a whole YouTube playlist about going in depth and maybe trying to rediscover this issue maybe in like a five or six videos, or maybe I should live stream that. So let me know in the comments down below what you would guys love to see that. But yeah, if you actually have something running React and Next.js, please update immediately. There's an update enrolled and you should definitely check it out. But apparently there is something called RSC or React Server Components, which is a flight protocol. And it basically affects the React 19 ecosystem and the frameworks that implement it, obviously. And yes, actually, this confirms it. Th this flaw allows for unauthenticated remote code execution RCE on the server side due to insecure disrealization. Think about it. This is just a server. I'm literally just spun up. Literally nothing special. No, no, nothing. Like this, this not actually even exists right now. This is not a website anymore. Like a, there is no navigation bars, landing pages, nothing. I didn't code it. I just basically installed Next.js and spun up the basic landing page, which you get once you install it. And my 
this proof of concept obviously calls calculator even with nothing installed. So that's why this is an, un un an unauthenticated remote code execution due to insecure visualization, and this pretty much confirms it. Obviously, this vulnerability exists in the default configuration of the affected applications, meaning that the standard deployments are immediately at risk. That's why this is 10 out of 10 vulnerability. And of course, immediate patching is, re is required. Hence why I'm making this video to spread awareness about it. This video is not going to be too long. If you want to see me rediscover this issue, please drop a like on this video and also comment down below what you actually would like to see. Maybe a, a playlist or you want me to actually make like a live stream. I don't know what you guys think about it, but honestly, this was a very scary stuff. Uh, again, looking at this, there's just one line of code missing. I don't really see how much... I can notice right now. I mean, I guess I know what this means uh, with the promises and all of that stuff and the resolve model and reason is mine. I, I guess I can kind of understand this. I did work with React, but I never actually deployed anything with that. I guess I can also understand this. I mean, it looks literally, it looks genuinely like prototype pollution, but it's really not, especially with the constructor constructor. But again, it is just simply insecure decentralization. And over here, it actually sends a file to json.dumps and it crafts and it takes json.dumps to craft this chunk. But again, even such a simple change, for example, changing this to no, be, no longer be a string to be actually a json, it, it doesn't actually work. Because this is very important because it here I believe this is where it tells it what to do. And this means then go to object B index zero. I believe that's, I don't know, I'm really not really too much familiar with it. But I would like to get familiar and maybe rediscover this issue. So let me know in the comments down below. Would you like to see that? And if you would also just without commenting, like this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay safe, stay responsible. And as always, peace.